There are a few different question template types you will encounter when working with My Class Text. Probably the simplest type is the multiple choice question. Some multiple choice questions will ask you to select all true statements. To get this kind of multiple choice question 100% correct, you must select every correct choice. If you select some of the correct choices, then you will get a percentage corresponding to the number of correct choices that you have selected. However, if you select every choice, then you will get a zero for that question. If a multiple choice question appears in a homework and your first attempt is incorrect, then you will be given two additional attempts to get it correct. For true-false questions, you are only given one attempt to get the correct answer. Short answer questions generally involve an answer which is a decimal. You should be able to input your answer into a very simple question template. However, be sure to round your decimal as directed in the specific question. Some short answer questions will involve the use of a slightly more complex question template. For example, if your answer is a fraction, or if the answer involves a special symbol. You will also use this special question template if your answer involves parentheses. It would be best if you use this symbol to input those answers. The matrix drop-down menu is one that we will not use in this course. The drop-down menu found by clicking on the divide symbol on the toolbar consists of some useful symbols, specifically the plus minus sign, the less than or equal to, and the greater than or equal to symbols. The drop-down menu under the pi symbol contains different mathematical symbols including the infinity symbol and the symbol for the null set. You most likely will not be using this drop-down menu. The drop-down menu under the Greek letter alpha will allow you to select any lowercase Greek letter. Finally, you will find the undo and redo buttons that you might find helpful when working with this template. 